the danger zone. <laughs> Wait, what the? I think it's 1992 now. Never mind. I hit it wrong. I fucked that up, but I don't care. Oh, work on it the next time. Be doing that one a lot. <laughs> oh, I had another had another plan for this one. I might have had to deface this a little bit, unfortunately. And thank God I didn't do that. So, guys, you don't get mad at me. But anyways, danger zone. But anyways, uh, we had like finally I can talk about the awesomeness of last week's pay-per-view before I get just now getting into doing another thing with a watch along here go to Gucci verse if you haven't paid for that or you can do to action armies whichever works it's cool sorry sorry I'm not in it out it's great you know how I roll but anyways Uh, and uh yeah this is this week was this past week the pay-per-view that throw this past week's throwdown was amazing i i loved this oh i love this so much um i loved who won they needed the win um i mean i feel bad for bibs in this case but oyama had a not so great, not so great, but an okay year. Bibbs had a way better year, up to a point. Um, or at least, you know, they got to get the belts, finally. Uh, and they're For at least the teams. So he's, he's at least been able to say he's been a former singles and teams champion. It's just a shame he's never defended those belts, but... Uh, one of these days. One of these days, Bibs. And thanks for appreciate the like. I know I would have liked to have bet, had it, but I just had a feeling Paul was gonna get it this time. He was there was something to what happened since the final exam match that he was gonna he was gonna come at it, so and you know, OG dungeon thing. It's, it's how I how I roll. I'm I'm more the good cop of the dungeon masters. Even though technically that's more smash smash, but eh. But we all know who the bad cop is in this one, but and he's okay with it. He's okay with it. So, let me catch you. Anyway, so, as I'm also doing this while trying to make sure I don't miss the promos that Air Chronic is doing for the Battlefield uh, <laughs> at this time. So, I apologize. I am doing it again. I was hoping to do it before, but I screwed up. So, and hopefully it's not going to rain tomorrow because i got some mods to start mowing. It's getting that time of year, so um, you may not see me as much on the, on some other things besides this. But anyways, I am... I like the three matches we got, which unfortunately were all singles matches, so I ain't too worried about putting singles in the dashes because that's all they are. I don't need to put IG or, or Star Wars or anything on it. So, And they're all IG. Uh, I don't, th uh, we had one dungeon match, so I'm hoping it's a clean sweep this week, that Bateman pulls it off, um, and, uh, whew, I can't wait, um, sweep that Bateman pulls this whole thing off, um, with his, with his match Battlefield, I've, I've got Bateman, and I kind of have Liz, um, as much as I am part of the Gucci verse, I, I'm fine with Gucci, and I'm fine with some parts of the Finstock Exchange. One of them, including Rick Raddis, is now starting to include Rick Raddis, even though technically he's just a mere. He, you could almost say he might have been the illegitimate son to Gucci at this point, and weirdly enough, uh, Chrissy V, I believe. You could almost say she could have been the same for Roxy. Which is why this match is even weirder, but I think it's also more the fact that this is slightly reminiscent of Finstock. This rookie match is very reminiscent of Finstock versus... of of then Finstock versus... versus, um... T. 
Tiff, uh, Tiffany Smith. Um, no, I think I got that last name wrong. But anyways, oh, hold on a second. Okay, that was a good turn on there, Chronic. Uh, for that, for that battlefield undercard. But anyways. Uh, that. Wow. Um, but yeah. I'm not going to say I'm not, just kind of, I just don't care for him anymore. I had my moments with him, but back in the day, but I just, I just don't care. And I'd like to see Liz Shannon Miller finally get a title. Because Rook has already had his two chances um, in terms of that. And he's finally already got a team's belt. He's finally had a chance to retain a belt. So it's a belt just in general. So as far as I'm concerned, I, sorry, Roka, but no. And I did, as much as I appreciate that Memorial Day thing, I wind up giving more credit to Brett for making me laugh. Because I needed that more. <sighs> but yet I came onto the show, maybe because of smashing them, and I figured since you knew what was going on, you'd appreciate it when I was to say my personal thing with the Memorial Day incident. And it was nice to have that no action army at that point have my back, so. It was great. But anyways... Uh, and I guess eventually Gucci Verse would, once I eventually signed up to that, uh, I think a month or two later. But anyways, uh, not the personal stuff. As far as what I wanted to see from, and the, that's that match was just entertaining. It wasn't a very high scoring one, but it was a rookie match, and eventually, and it was more that Christy just didn't ha just got unlucky because she just had to deal with the it was more that she just had to deal with opponent with the opponent's choice. It might have been different if she had something else happening, but. Uh, yeah, it seems these suspects might need it, I guess, to try to get closer. Pinsock Exchange looks like they need, yeah, in terms of what's going on with this current status, I guess, of standings. Um, so, and somehow the stars are the lower one of all things. Figure that. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost a weird reverse situation, and the dead's in third figure, huh? But anyways... Sorry, I'm still distracted with that, but in turn, which, I mean, that definitely must have helped, especially given press, not only the knockout situation that uh, Saul did in IG, but now Preston's win kind of sort of helped a bit, uh, or at least it was a good knockdown drag out fight with James White. I like them both. I've met them in the Gucci-verse. They were cool people. Um, I think I got along with James a little more. I guess it's an H thing, but I don't like him, and it seems he's found a way to fit in corruption in a way that's similar to kind of sort of with he's starting to be this weird thing with how i got we got i got out of any last year and what uh it seems a lot of people last year and kind of this year minus that one cut scene jesus i wish they didn't do that speaking of that oh my god that speaking of that um thing involving um what's her face before that what led to that oh my god holy shit uh i called demilanta and it happened as well holy shit um, oh my god, that pay-per-view, that was not, it went to 5150, Star Wars 5150, the hunter slays the demon, he exercised the demon from his reign of terror, even though he's not really that much of a bad dude, uh, but anyways, exercised the demon, Damon, though he gets his rematch because he's held the belt and defended, he's held that belt one and defended that belt four times. Eventually, maybe, oh, geez. He's apparently, yeah, it's going to be interesting. He's starting to act a little more closer to the old school outlaw, it seems. Oh, boy. Uh, you'll see it when it happens, when you see that match in Battlefield. But anyways, from what it's looking like, I could tell from this. Let me, I got to I'm apparently going to have to hear this. Hold on. Anyways, I was just, oh, man. I'm sorry I gotta do this back and forth, guys, but it's, just, I hate when I time my shit sometimes. But anyways, I, um, I'm looking forward to, I, both players and Rick, those rookies and Rick Raddus and, and, uh, it was, just, like I said, it was very reminiscent, minus, like, the engagement thing, which, I mean, <laughs> I, even though that got topped by Winston's Will You Accept This L, but... <laughs>
And between that and the slap, probably topped that completely. But Gucci was involved in that too, in a way. But he wasn't the one getting slapped, which is funny shit. It's either way, funny shit. But uh, holy fucking moly, I can't wait. I can't. I'm looking forward to this battlefield right now. Um, the um, holy fucking shit. I just, or at least I'm looking forward to Bateman pulling the win and all all the times we've had in the in the study sessions being helpful, very 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 helpful. Um, and I did love the announcement, Danger Zone, that he put that he dropped. I mean, I already knew about the team because of being an Ananias patron. It was more him having to drop the team and then finally drop the name of the team. Now it's just a matter of the other shoe coming in for the other the other side of the team. So other than that, I've I'm glad for Preston. It was a good match, and I expected James to put up a fight, so I'm happy with that. I really did like and then I think and video drew, I was hoping to have a win. Unfortunately she didn't play nearly anywhere near as good. Near as good as what happened with her Jen with Jen Kemp, but she still could have that in her. And you're and I know that. Uh but I'm just glad that she did pull out the W. At the very least. Uh, oh, it was so good. Which was so nice. And now I just need one more W tonight here watching Battlefield. Um, and I can't wait. I really can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. That looked weird. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just too excited for this pay-per-view. And I don't know what to do with myself. Um... <laughs> But, yes, overall, guys, I enjoyed this match. Um, I enjoyed these matches this week. I enjoyed the throwdown as well. What did you end up um, throwdown as well? I enjoyed it for many reasons. I, I, hell, I was happy with the early thing, and I, I just don't care for Dewberry anymore like everybody else. But I never cared for that storyline once they brought it, when they were too little, too late, brought it up. I just, and, you know... I uh, so I just wanted to care, but I just plus which is even funnier because Video Drew was in that pay per view, and I felt that match that was a uh, which was an undercard was better. Anyways, uh, what did you think of these matches so far this week? I know that I don't only touch upon them, but when I'm trying to fight a pay per view situation, this is what happens. And hopefully, I don't have to have this be a consistent thing this year. What did you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know. As always, guys, keep it random. Look at that. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Please also, sh I keep forgetting, share this video if you like it. You know? Uh, just get some notice out of it. I'm, I'm still doing these things. I don't expect to win anything at this point. I don't care if I do. I just like to talk about it just because. And, yeah. Um... This match, and I, I'm looking forward to it because they're just already starting the match between Liz and Roka, and it's already starting off pretty good between the two. Um, um, it's the first time under the ba we have a battlefield pay per view, so uh, as opposed to a throwdown, even though it doesn't seem that far off from those, it's just a different name branding thing. I don't know, but anyways, um, yeah, like, share the video, uh. Uh, check me out on Facebook. Uh, I also have a stereo, but I have yet to use it for podcasting. Eventually, I will. Uh, and there's some other things. Want some other things? And uh, I guess as always, keep it random. Keep keep rocking. If you smell oh, what the movie trivia schmodown schmodown rocks, it's got entertainment and so on and so forth. Also, I forgot to talk about the. Oh man. Before I do my my outro proper this time, I realized I forgot to talk to you guys about about the cutscenes. Good cutscenes. Good cutscenes. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have even done it. He's out of he's out of relevance. Um. Yeah, the, I like the. I mean, no, I mean the cutscenes got better, especially the ones that are kind of. Prepping up this other storyline that's also kind of building up into what would be of this Battlefield episode and how it basically seems like Dungeon, it's more building up a an interesting rival, furthering the storyline rivalry between 
the dungeon, specifically Bateman, specifically the whole rift that happened from the Finstock Exchange of last year that has now led to essentially the dungeon Jin versus the Finstock Exchange, which is probably going to blossom somewhere in the Gucci Kaiser to some extent, which is why I found it more interesting in that regard, and hopefully to get more traction through the Gucci verse. So, as far as I'm concerned, despite the way this inter, despite this inner turmoil, I'd like to say the Gucci verse will win, because we're because Gucci got to basically kind of pull pull off an Oscar situation in his case. So with this, which was funny. Oh, that was those are the those. Prank call and what became of the prank call are the high uh, the, in the final match. Those cutscenes were the highlights. Mwah. 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 Are the highlights of the match. Hoo wee. Hoo wee. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait, dude. You cannot wait. I just... I cannot wait for my, my dungeon to do super well. And I'm not expecting the Fins like Shade to not work his its way up. And I'm not expecting Corruption to not either. I don't know if they're going to do as well as they did last year. Given the way the landscape is now, but... But we shall see. And war this is, for sure. But I don't know what they're going to do after this season. In terms of being thematic or anything like that, but we shall see. I'm really excited for what we're we're gonna be getting. I mean, there's the other ones. Um, oh yeah, the um the one pay per view. Um, I mean, we we did get to see that guy might be going on the desk. I don't know when they're gonna actually put that into play. Uh, if they're planning on doing a part three and having it be where he's no longer on the desk and Guy's going to be on it, I don't know when it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to play a part in this battlefield that's happening with the main event or not. And if it, how they're going to handle it. Or at least maybe they're planning on having him on the desk once they get a studio or something. I don't know, but the whole thing about the mask joke I realized was really about, you know, the face and less masks because of the pandemic. I didn't think about that. I was thinking more about the storyline situation, so I apologize. And it took talking with some people in the Gucci verse to kind of set in the, the in the press and match to set me straight. So, um, so but so I, but I did, but I'm hoping that I'm not r entirely wrong, and I'm not being steered from it, because I I would about the whole Fight Club thing. But and I hope that then they do that. It's executed well enough that I'll be happy with it instead of like. Call instead of like pfft, called it kind of thing, you know what I mean? But ah, let's see. And uh, there was this other one. I'm trying to remember if there, what the other. Why am I forgetting the other cutscene? Damn it! I thought there was another one, but I can't remember what it was. Ah. Oh yeah, that was the. Oh, sadly, I should have remembered it because it was now seems like Chandu's plans to try to form a coup is has went to shit because he all of a sudden decided to go to Lawn, and then we get a conversation between him and his brother, almost as if they're trying to set up something of a different kind of coup where it seems like he want a coup against what it was final exam now turn making it to where the Harris brothers are back. I don't know why, but why they want to do that when. Clearly, Final Exam's doing so much better as a team, but okay. <sighs> Whatever. Because they, they were closer to gold than any of the other teams. Twice they've gotten closer than, any, than, than the Harris Brothers ever did. So, I just... I don't know. I and it, But it was funny just to, for me personally just to see... Time to fail so hard. And now it's... And, uh... Even to where... It just Everything just fell apart for him. I don't know unless they just set it up to that. And maybe they just changed... Things changed. And that was the narrative for that. I don't know if maybe eventually they'll still do something. Uh, or at least he planned a coup and it would fail on him. Because he lost his match tomorrow or something. I don't know. Uh, so they made that his bigger punishment. I don't know. I 
don't know. But it's starting to look like things are looking up in other ways. <laughs> Pam Von Harris the said something in it. I'm guessing, I don't know whether, I'm guessing this one is live, but I'm not entirely sure if the Bateman-Riley matches as well or not. Or if there's pre-tape like what happened. Um, which was a situation, especially for those who came into the Gucci-verse to see Laura Kelly as a guest, which, that was the shortest and weirdest, weirdest and not in the best possible way of an episode that we had. And we didn't, I didn't even just meet her. Which sucked, because I know she's from around Chicago. So I know she's, like, kind of little, much more on the locals, aside from Ward, um, for me. But anyways, uh, that was just some small little things. But I enjoyed the matches, all of them, very, very much, in many different ways. And even with the cutscenes from this last match, so... And round one is already finished, and it's a, but it does seem like they all did pretty well from what it seems like. But anyways, I gotta check in with the Gucci verse. Uh, once again, as always, guys, keep it random, keep it real, keep it rocking. If you smell what the movie trivia schmodown, schmodown rocks. It's got entertainment and so on and so forth. Is cooking. We dig it. Dig the slowdown, brother.